Welcome to the video version of Barometer magazine from the Met Office. There's a huge variety of stories in this latest edition, and here's a quick roundup of some of the highlights. Here we are in the Met Office IT halls. We've relied on these supercomputers for several years to do all the calculations for our weather and climate models. In October 2014, we got a £97 million investment from the government to upgrade the facility. Enhanced processing power will help us protect life and property and will enable us to turn more science into services for the benefit of government, business and the public. It will also enable us to produce innovative forecasts, for example focusing high resolution models on strategically important infrastructure such as airports and flood defences. We will be able to predict small scale high impact weather features with greater skill such as thunderstorms that have the potential to lead to flash flooding. The first phase of the supercomputer will be operational in September 2015 and the system will reach full capacity in 2017. From computers to airports, the Met Office has just been awarded a five-year contract to deliver on-site weather services at Heathrow. When you discover that a single inaccurate forecast could cost Heathrow over £1 million, you realise the importance of the weather on the day-to-day -day operations of this globally respected airline hub. Heathrow put the project out to tender and the Met Office was successful in winning the contract. The ultimate aim was to improve operational planning, maximise efficiency and reduce operating costs. It will also help Heathrow's ambition to become the world's best international airport. Did you know the Met Office has a new space weather centre? It represents the culmination of more than three years work showing scientific expertise between the UK and the USA. From flooding to falling trees, we're all familiar with the damage that can be caused by storms. But what's less well known is that about 100 to 600 kilometres above the clouds, in a layer of the Earth's atmosphere called the ionosphere, storms and disturbances also frequently occur. While these are very different to the weather we experience on Earth, they still have the power to cause massive disruptions to our technology and infrastructure. The Space Weather Centre is operational 24-7, providing space weather forecasts and developing an early warning system aimed at protecting critical infrastructure from the impacts of space weather. Have you ever wondered how wine growing is affected by the weather? We're here at Sharpen Vineyard to meet Duncan Schwab, head winemaker, to find out more about how different conditions affect their operations. Good drainage um, is what we're looking for, so we're on south facing slopes here, um, we've got um, windbreaks surrounding us. As you can see the vine canopies are up around six foot, um, this system here is on uh, a Scott Henry um, and uh, so, so we have a canopy for a six foot high canopy which then creates a shelter belt for the, for the vines thereafter building up a beautiful microclimate in this vineyard here. That's just been a quick look at some of the stories in the current Barometer magazine but there's a wide variety of other in-depth features for you to enjoy. We also bring you news about our new Chief Executive, Rob Varley, who considers his 31-year journey working at the Met Office and looks ahead at some key priorities for the future. We also tell you how the Met Office became involved in the Great Britain campaign, a marketing initiative showcasing the heritage, creativity and innovation of Britain around the world to encourage investment and growth. You can also read all about the fascinating and creative work of photographer Martin Hartley, who specialises in photographing expeditions to some of the most challenging and remote environments on Earth. For the full online edition of Barometer magazine, go to this web address and thanks for watching.